Uh, my name is Joe Lambert. I'm the founder and the director of the Center for Digital Storytelling in Berkeley. Um, this question of uh, the way culture as a, as a whole is a vital part of economic and social development is something that um, as an old community artist, as somebody that was very interested in how uh, communities engage in culture and use culture to develop, you know, a sense of identity for a community, um, this is critical. Uh, there's a lot of evidence, both from the studies that have been done about the arts in general, but particularly about arts that are ways for people to engage the stories of their community, that it changes the way people think about their community. You think of a small neighborhood in Rome, like the one Vittoria, where the orchestra uh, was put together of immigrants, and they told a story in a documentary film, uh, which was very much like a digital story, about all the characters that came together to make that uh, orchestra in Vittoria. Obviously, it changes the way the community thinks about itself. When we do digital storytelling in a place like Wales, we were underwritten uh, in the work with the BBC by the cultural development people because they realized in an economic environment uh, where coal mining was long gone and industrial uh, economics were long gone that they needed something else to be proud of. And the fact that Welsh people are great storytellers and that they could share each other's stories became the basis of a renewal. And community after community used digital storytelling as a way to you know, make people feel positive about themselves. And by feeling positive about themselves, they were willing to try new things, to innovate. <clears throat> and, and when you think about cultural development, it is the core part of any innovative strategy, any 21st century innovative uh, strategy to make a difference in people's perception of how they can reinvent themselves again and again and again. They have to know that their story counts, that whatever they came from or whoever they are in the center of their community, that they can also find creative ways of expressing that. And uh, digital storytelling is just one example of a way to get a person on a, on a life journey of getting involved in, in reinvention. You know, the digital storytelling has within it, obviously, the use of the computer. And in the 21st century, people that know how to use computers, and particularly people who know how to make media on computers, have a core competency. In the 20th century, we often said if you could read and write, if you could type, um, you wouldn't be as poor as if you couldn't. Literacy was a critical part of economic progress. Well, the same is true in the 21st century. If you have the ability to use a computer to represent yourself in screen, either in a moving image kind of way like digital storytelling or just developing a website or working on a blog, you're going to be in a better economic situation. You're going to be able to be a professional representing your values who you are, what you can do. And you're also going to be learning through something like digital storytelling just how to work your way around a computer, how to solve problems in a multimedia environment. All of those are transferable skills for any number of professions. And so digital storytelling has a very particular uh, strength as a job training uh, process.